So I'm going to be doing a vision board, except I'm going to be doing it <coughs> a little bit different. I'm using this backsplash wall that I have here at my desk. It is like that. And I'm tired of the wire and my kids, they colored on it. And at the moment, I just don't want to paint it. I want a vision board this year. It's 2018. I have all my goals. And let me just say, I've been wanting a vision board. I have not done one. I was the person that would write her goals in her notebook, her journal. So I wanted to do a vision board. I saw my literally favorite YouTuber ever, Jordan, do a vision board for her 2018 and it got me more inspired. It got me some more great ideas. I knew I wanted to do one this year and then when she posted hers and how her how she did hers, definitely worth going to check out her channel. I will leave her channel link down in the description box down below. She is amazing let me just say that she is so positive she does these girl boss videos it's all you definitely need to check out her channel for so i'm doing it a little bit different i'm actually gonna instead of it being on like a um like a poster board or pin board or whichever ones you would use i'm actually going to be doing it on my wall it's going to try to hide the wire let alone the crayon and what i have here are some pictures I have a picture of my husband and my three children when we went to Chicago. This was actually last year. So, <clears throat> sorry, I am sick. I have that. I want to put that kind of just like as the center because they are my world. And then I have one of me and my husband. It was actually, um, yeah, last summer for 2018 or 2017. So, sorry. I'm going to cut it up a little bit. There was like this extra pieces here. And it's just to better our marriage. Let me just say for 2017, with praying for so much and for so long and bringing my faith up more, um, our marriage has turned around tremendously. He is now also picking up a Bible and reading his Bible and stuff like that, which is a big change. When you put your faith into God and you pray, especially for your husband, it changes someone tremendously. And it's just putting your faith in God and having God do its work. And let me just say, I thank God so much because he did his work for my marriage, for our faith together. Like our marriage has actually bloomed tremendously and wait for it to grow even more. There's still a lot we need to do. Let me just say that we have our ups and downs. There's still a lot that we need to do. And let me just say, I can't wait for 2018 and it's going to continue of again with my marriage so I'm gonna probably put it somewhere like close to the middle we'll see um, I have some double-sided sticky tape I also got some scissors because I'm gonna need some scissors for this um, I picked out some quotes so again trust in the Lord with all your heart Proverbs 3 5 let me just say this um, Bible verse was my favorite so I had to print that out then I have this one so a good marriage is not just about marrying the right person, it is also about being the right person. So I have those. <coughs> I have this, which is a negative mind will never give you a positive life, which is totally true. And that's something also I love about uh, Jordan and her channel is because she um, does manifesting a lot in her channel. Definitely check her out. But I did find that and I loved how that uh that was a quote and then good vibes only and like i said with this here being here i'm always here at my desk especially when it comes to like my planner videos and my planner stuff and my pen pal stuff so it would be something with the vision board it has to be somewhere where it's visible where you're always going to be at or at least where you're always what room you're always in where you will always see it and that's the point of this vision board um, have the strength to choose faith over worry and that was my biggest thing I always chose to worry and never put my worry in at God's feet and that was one thing that I had the hardest time to try to let go and as 2017 I tried to learn especially like in the middle of 2017 was try to make my worry instead of me worrying about it too much put it at God's feet 
ask him for help, ask him for strength, ask him for um, faith and believing and everything like that. And let me just say, my worries have tremendously went away. My anxiety, you would not believe. I had so bad anxiety, I had to take medication for it. And I did not want to take medication. I always forgot about it. I always just didn't want to take it. And it made it worse. And then when I got into, in the middle of 2017, I was like, I can't do this no more. And I started to just put more of my worries, especially when I found a quote inside of, of the Bible about putting my worries and my fears and everything like that at God's feet and have him help me take care of it. Or he gives me the strength to help take care of it. And he gives me this vision of how to take caring, how to take care of it. So that is one thing I just want to continue to bring in 2018 because my anxiety had finally just literally went away. I have like literally no anxiety anymore. I don't take the medication for it anymore. It doesn't trigger my asthma anymore. And that was like my hardest thing was my anxiety triggered my asthma. My anxiety triggered actually a lot of my health problems. And when I put that at God's feet, I was able to literally stop with my medication. I didn't need to take it. I didn't need it. I my whenever anxiety had popped up, I remember this little um, little week that I did in my uh, Bible app about anxiety and how to meditate it and how to meditate through it and how to strengthen myself and I kept going to my Bible for it and I was able to be very calm about it and now. I don't have it at all like I have no anxiety and I was really grateful for that so that was something I wanted to also just bring into 2018 I don't have anxiety no more but I don't want it back and I want to make sure that what I had done in 2017 I bring it into 2018 and know that God has um, has has my faith and my worries and my fears at his feet um, healthy lifestyle <coughs> this one printed out actually small and it's just like I love these fruit bowls the fruit bowl smoothies I love them I love smoothies again it's just about having a more healthy lifestyle choosing more fruits and vegetables and um, get my protein other in other places besides just meat um, I'm just gonna try to work towards that a little bit more and that's kind of just a little thing for me to remember um, here is a 2017 Dodge Durango and I've had a 2004 Dodge Durango and I loved my baby so much we actually had to sell her um, about a couple years ago so I want a 2017 Dodge Durango and this is the exact car and color it's like a pencil gray color and the exact uh, tires and everything that I want it so always having a vision of what it is you want especially if you're doing manifesting you need to know the color of your vehicle the t color of the tires the shape of the tires things like that that you want and this was actually one I was going through it like crazy trying to find one that had something that I wanted and it was the tires and the color and everything perfect so that is what I can't wait for for 2018 going on a hike we don't have mountains here but I do plan on wanting to do a road trip and maybe go on a hike in um, somewhere around the mountains in the road trip that we plan on doing this year and that's just one it's just going on a hike and seeing the beautiful world God created so I have that then I have YouTube and YouTube is just to grow and to help anyone that has bumped into my channel. I want to try to help you guys in any way possible, whether if it's just finding a way of putting your planner and trying out a new thing, uh, picking out some new planner stickers at a really great cost or a reasonable cost or try to help find things like that. Like I want my YouTube to grow and I want it to be positive and I want it to help anyone that needs help that's kind of just what I'm at right now with my YouTube and just be consistent with my YouTube as well and that is why I have my YouTube is just to grow and everything like that and then again another healthy fitness thing as you guys can see it's I'm really big on wanting to be more healthy and like the smoothies and going on a walk 
we have actually a beach around here and I want to do that this summer I want to take a run on the beach in the morning and see a pretty sunset so this summer that is actually what my plan is and what I want to do and just like walk and run like I said about a road trip I'm trying to get this <clears throat> like I said about a road trip this year we do plan on taking a road trip and that is one thing I am going to continue having on my vision board because we are doing a road trip this year so I have the road trip sign paid in full we want our vehicle paid in full we have one vehicle that we are paying on we have one we have two of them that are paid in full but we have one that we are still paying on and um, we want to pay it in full uh, we also want to pay our house off but I know it's gonna take a little bit longer than that so just right now is paid in full of our vehicle and a couple of our debts and that comes to my last one which is a debt free life and that is working on clearing our debt we don't got a really big debt but we do have a debt which is our home and our vehicle at the moment and we just want to pay it off and then just like a couple of little things which aren't very much and it's just to pay in full some of our debts which some of them are I could pay within like two months so that's that and then be debt free a debt free life and that's what we're working on so let's get started
follow that and see. I also used this um, this thing here. Okay, what's it called? The um, animator? No, no. Um, to make those. <laughs> I don't know what this is called, so I'm drawing a blank of what this is called. But to make like make a difference and strengthen and believe in growth and luxury and wealth and inspire and success and passion and balance and fitness and peace and love and family and giving back. So I did all of those to also combine with what I want in this year, what I want to grow in this year, what I want more of in this year. So that is everything I vision for. Um, again, thanks to Jordan because she gave me more inspiration and of like her bullet journal. I'll also leave the link to that video that she did about her vision board. <laughs> her vision board. I'll leave that down in the description box down below. But this is my vision board for this year, 2018. I think I'm gonna put like 2018 on the back or on the top or something like that love doing sticky notes and this was kind of my sticky notes probably just put it somewhere like there that was my sticky note and it goes I want to be a godly wife and I need to plan pray trust and obey I'll just add that there because that is something I still do want for this year and yeah this is my vision board and I hope you guys like it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video